to the you. The best weapon in arc survival ascendant depends on the situation. Early game, the spear is essential for survival. As you progress, advanced weapons like the assault rifle or pump action shotgun become more effective. So that's a very nuanced question, right? Like, damage. what's the best weapon in this game? It depends. Maybe you're starting out, the spear is easy to craft. If you're later in the game, you know, maybe an assault rifle or something, it can tell you how to craft them. So I can say, how do I craft the assault rifle? And it's going to tell me exactly what it is that I need to build it. These are the sorts of things that you look up online very, very often. To craft so it's you, me, you need 60 you need metal ingots, 35 polymer, 50 cementing paste, and, I, and you can go on a rabbit hole here. Okay, but how do I find the metal ingots and stuff like that? Yeah. So obviously it knows a lot about the game, but there are there, there's more that's going on. So um, it, it, there's vision models in place. I can just say, um, what is that dinosaur over there? The dinosaur in the center mid area is very likely a parasaur. So that's that's correct. So they have moved since, but it's saying that it's a parasaur and a triceratops. And if you move close, the text appears, and you can see this is a parasaur, and this won't get out of the way. <laughs> this is a triceratops, and so it's able to help players by visually inspecting what's happening in the game window. But that's not you know limited to just the dinosaurs. It can be you know help me with my stats. I don't know what to unlock next. Or maybe you're looking at the map and you're trying to figure out where's the nearest cave, where's the nearest point of interest, where, what should I do? Am I missing like a secret room or a secret chest that I forgot? Um, it can look at the inventory, so I can say, do you see anything in my inventory that can help tame either of those dinosaurs? There's a lot of useless stuff there, but there is some useful stuff there too. Yes, you have a crossbow in your inventory. That's true. Yes. It's saying that I have trank arrows too. This is how you tame these animals. And the game doesn't really tell you how to tame them. But you know, you have to knock them unconscious, then you have to feed them its favorite food, and so on. So that is one use case. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. But the other one I wanted to show you is that it can answer questions about your system and actually change settings that would make it more performant. So for example, I can say, what is my frames per second? What is my PC latency? Let's try something a little bit more difficult. I'll say, what is my CPU and GPU utilization? And graph it for me in the last uh, three minutes. So it's going to access hardware telemetry to try to give me information that would be useful to understand like, okay, is my system bottleneck somewhere? Where did I hit a hitch? So it's gonna chart for me and I can even download it and you know try to inspect the data or maybe if I'm benchmarking or something like that, it would be very useful. It can help optimize your graphic settings for you. So for example, if I say, hey, what's my PC latency? And it should be somewhere around 40, so 45 milliseconds, I can ask, what settings should I change to lower my latency. And it's gonna tell me a bunch of actual options in the game that I can use to reduce latency. So for example, it's suggesting NVIDIA Reflex, it's suggesting it turning off VSync. These are all very good suggestions for how to maximize responsiveness. So that sort of stuff that can optimize them for you automatically. I will show you one more thing in, of what it can actuate intelligently. So I can say, what is my power usage? And obviously, I don't have to talk to it all the time. I can just text and it'll text me back. So this is a 4090. It's using about 280 watts currently. The FPS was, what, like 60 FPS? Mm -hmm. So I will say, can you make my PC more power efficient, but don't drop below 50 FPS? I can give it a, a, just a regular language command, and it's going to find ways to consume less power. I'm going to lower the volume here. I'm going to let it work because this is a complicated query, but it's already done. So, so let's look at what it did. So it's keeping my FPS at, uh, right now it's at, at 51, but the power consumption has gone from 290, 290 basically to, what is that, 178, while maintaining a relatively similar frame rate target, which is pretty cool.
Um, it can also overclock your GPU and things like that. So a lot of really helpful utility for players in all aspects. You guys have any questions? <laughs>